So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so today I'm going to show you quickly how to install the PES Universe option file on PC. Alright, so if you want a PS4 one, well we have some tutorials on the site, uh, Spoonie Pizzas also has a tutorial as well for the PlayStation 4. But the PC is pretty much the same thing as well, the only difference is going to be at the beginning. So I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, I've already done it myself. But I'm going to run through the exact same steps. I didn't have any issues, no problems, and it worked simply. All right, so first thing, if you are a PES Universe member, just head over to the website. Go to the Members Hub. Go to the Gold or Silver. We have Silver updated as well now. Uh, and then you're going to go down to the main option files. All right, you're going to download it. So click on Available Now. Uh, and as you can see, obviously I'm going to hide out the password. Uh, but... It will tell you when sort of v1 v2 and that i mean those are all still being worked on but anyway you'll go to download and you'll download the file okay that's step number one simple as that um and let's move into step two okay so once you've downloaded the file okay it's going to be a winrar file all right you're going to need to extract it if you don't know how to do that then you're going to need something like this all right you can go to rarlab.com winrar Go to downloads, scroll down to whatever version you want, generally do the 64-bit of your country, download it and install it, all right? That will give you the freedom to be able to then extract it. And then all I basically do is I personally just drag this onto my desktop, as you can see, I already have it here. So all the files are in there, but I would just grab this folder and uh, just whack it on your desktop and job done. So that's step number two. Okay, so once you have done that, then you're going to go to your documents, all right? Now, this is where you store stuff. You're going to see the Konami, the Konami folder, all right, in there. Make sure you start the game up first, by the way, as well. Run the game, start it up, do the system data, all that nonsense. And then you will have a folder created like this, which will say PES 21 season update. Double click that, uh, and then the WE PES folder, all right? That is where you are going to grab all these files, which I've already done it, obviously. But you're just going to grab everything and put it in there, okay? It's as simple as that. So unlike the PS4, which is slightly different, you use a USB. On the PC, you just need to go into the WE PES, make sure you have that folder, and then put all the folders in there the competitions the premier league and everything else and that is it job done off the game and now let's dive into the game okay so once you've uh, booted up the game obviously you're going to want to go to settings and then edit now the first time you do this it's going to ask you to quickly run through a tutorial where you literally just press x you'll go to import uh, and then when you do import team it will run through a tutorial quickly do it get it out of the way it's just showing you how to do things all right so the first thing you will go back to import you'll go to import team you'll press ok and if you've put it in the right folder you will see all these files if you don't see any files you've put it in the wrong folder make sure it's in the we pez as i showed you so this is everything we have right now for the pez universe option file what you're going to do is press square or whatever you want to do but it will just pretty much tick every single box don't worry about the bundesliga and the national teams we're going to do those afterwards so you'll then go ahead and go to advanced settings leave these two unchecked okay and then simply hit okay all right and then you're going to let it run through uh, and do the business now i've already done it so i'm not going to worry about it but i mean i'll do it for the sake of it um but it will just run through and start importing every single team i will leave it just to show you that there are no errors and then i will return um i'll speed the video up one or the other but that's it very very simple after that we'll do the bundesliga and the national teams that will sort out the competitions and then job is done so i'll return in just a second okay so as you can see finished importing job done it will be a lot quicker as well on pc as opposed to ps4 uh, so once we've done that we're going to go back to import teams we're going to click ok and then we're going to scroll down to the bundesliga all right so we're going to go down 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 
Once we get to them. All right, so we're going to ignore Bayer Leverkusen, Bayer München, München? Bayer München uh, and Schalke. All right, forget those because they're already in the game. Uh, but we're going to just tick all the other German sides as well as the German sides. We're also going to do the national team. So we're going to take Algeria, go all the way down to uh, the USA, and there we go. So those are the teams that you need to tick. All right, the national teams with NTF before them and the German 15 teams minus Leverkusen, Munich, and Schalke. All right, once we've done that, we're going to go back to the top, advanced settings, and we are going to go ahead and tick uh, both the boxes. All right, it's as simple as that. Tick both of them, and then once again, press OK, and it will start to import them. Okay, so once again, finished importing correctly. So that is all the teams done. All right, job done there. Now we're going to go to import competition because remember, we want to put those uh, all important emblems in there as well. So we click OK and uh, we're just going to hit square and tick every single box. All right, so you want every single box ticked. Go back up, go to advanced settings and uh, leave it blank. Do not tick the box and then click OK. And it's gonna fire through them pretty fast. Doesn't really take much time at all. Now, once we've done this, we're gonna make sure that the Bundesliga is set to 18 teams, and then you're gonna have to sort of mix and match and swap the teams around to make sure you officially have, you know, the correct Bundesliga teams in there. So we'll let this finish up. There we go. As you can see, no errors. Everything has worked fine. Uh, now, I've already done this, as I say, but I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, we would go to competition structure. You would go to draw size, and you would change Bundesliga. Would be on 20. Change that to 18. As you know, there's 18 teams in the Bundesliga. Then you're going to go back up to Europe. And uh, you're going to go across to the Bundesliga. And it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag, all right? But this is how you want it. So take a screenshot of this. This is the teams that you want because originally you're going to have a couple of teams. Maybe like Hoffenheim might be over here and this rubbish team will be in here. Make sure you just put all the Bundesliga teams in one league. And that is it. You're officially done. Everything is sorted. You're going to have every single league properly done uh, the badges do take a little bit of time to load for whatever reason i don't know why um, but when we back out and we go to well we could just go to teams or players so we go to teams you will have every single team as you can see in there for the premier league uh, you also have the sky bet as well and you can of course click on them and make sure that the uh, the kits are right uh, we still got to update a few of the sort of uh, managers and stuff for that. But for Chelsea and the like, you should have every, everyone in there. So Lampard's there. The rival clubs are there for you. Uh, if you go to someone like Leeds, they're also going to have, you know, the rival clubs. The manager, the stadium name uh, is all done for you as well. Uh, if we go down now to the Bundesliga, you will see there we have it. So when you go to Dortmund, you should see the likes of Royce all in there. Marco Royce, by the way, is not in the game right now. He might be added later via the data pack, but for some reason he's not. So we've had to make him. So no, he doesn't look like himself, uh, but we've just had to do what we can. But anyway, that is the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped. If it did, let me know in the comments. Please smash the like button if it did. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But until next time, take care.